Good morning, children. In this video, I'll be dealing with simplification of decimals. So whenever I say simplification in mathematics, we have to follow a rule, which is board marks. So board marks tells us the sequence in which we need to do simplification. Okay. So a simplification problem in maths may involve multiplication, addition, subtraction, brackets. So we will be following this rule, the sequence, the order in which the alphabets appear. In this sequence, we follow the simplification, okay? So with this concept, let us take a few examples from your book itself, okay? So I'll be doing exercise 3D, question number 8. Let me take this question. That is question number eight, number two. It says two point eight into one point six divided by twelve point eight. So if you look at the question here, it consists of multiplication, division, and even bracket. So according to the board mass rule, we will first solve the terms that is inside the bracket. So in the bracket, we have multiplication of these two numbers. Okay. So we have already learned how to multiply decimals. So let us do this division, uh, sorry, multiplication. It's 6 up, 48 carries 4, 6 to the 12 plus 4, 16. 1 is the 8, 1 to the 2. So this is 8, 4, 4. So we get 448. So in the end result, we will be placing a decimal after how many digits? So here we have a decimal after one digit. And here also we have a decimal after one digit. So in the answer, we will be placing a decimal after two digits. So 1, 2. So the answer for this multiplication will be 4.48. Now this is divided by 12.8. Okay. So let us do this division. So 4.48 divided by 12.8. We have already learned how to remove the decimals. Okay. So when we remove the decimal from here, we multiply the denominator by 1, 2. So we multiply the denominator by 100. And when we remove this decimal, we multiply the numerator by 10. If you have any confusion in this, then you can look my previous video. Okay? So we have 4480 divided by 128. Double zero. Okay. So we can cancel out this zero and this zero. So our question reduces to 448 divided by 1280. So let us perform this division. So that is 1280 divides 448. Okay. So the dividend is smaller than the divisor. So we put a decimal in the quotient, which allows us to put one zero. So how many times do we multiply? Let us say three. So let us say three is the twenty-four. Carry two. Three to the six plus eight. Three ones are three. So yes. So it is three times. So it is three eight. Four zero. Zero minus zero zero minus four. Four. Fourteen minus eight. Six. Okay. So let us put one more zero. So that is into three. Sorry, five. So five zero is a zero. Eight five is a forty. Carry four. Five two is a ten plus four. Fourteen carry one. Five one is a five plus one. Six. So our answer for this division is 0 0.35, okay? So this is the result for this simplification. This is very simple, okay? So now let us have a look at one more problem. This is a word problem. 
problem. I'm taking it from your book itself. That is. So that is piece number and forty three. Example two. Okay. So I won't write the question here. Please refer your textbook. So the question says the product of two numbers is thirty one point six one one. If one number is two fifty seven, find the other. So this is a word problem. And the first thing this word problem tells us is the product of two numbers is 31.611. So when we say product, that means the multiplication of two numbers. Okay. So one number is given as 257. We need to find the other number. Okay. So in word problem, it will be easy if we always assume what is to be found out uh, as x okay so here we have to find the other number so let us assume let the other number be x okay whatever is to be found out we are assuming it to be x okay then according to question what it says is the product of two numbers okay we don't know one number we are assuming it to be x and the other number given is 257 okay so according to our question 257 into x gives us 31.611 okay so if you can formulate this equation you are already done with half of the problem okay so why this multiplication because the question says the product of two numbers is this much Product means multiplication, okay. And one number given is 257, and the other number we are assuming it to be x, and we are finding the value of x. We already know how to solve the linear equation, so we will keep this x in the left hand side itself. So, whatever it's there in the right hand side, we write it that is 31.611. Okay. So, this 257 is in multiplication in the left hand side of this equation, right? So, when we take this number towards the right hand side, then it gets converted into a division, okay? So, we divide this number by 257, okay? So, when you remove this decimal, you will be putting 1, 2, 3 zeros in the denominator. So, 1, 2, 3. So our question is now reduced to this. Okay, so let us divide this. So it is 257 triple zero dividing 316 double one. So the dividend is smaller than the divisor. So we'll put a decimal which allows us to put one zero here so this goes one time so that is equal to two five seven triple zero so zero minus zero zero one one so this is seven eight nine so this is five okay so again we put zero this is two times so we put three zeros here. So sevens are fourteen carried one. Five the ten plus one eleven carried one. So two the four plus one five. So this is zero zero one eleven minus four seven eight minus one six. Okay. So let us put one more zero three times one two three. 7 is 21, carry 2, 3 5 is 15 plus 2 17, carry 1, 3 2 is 6 plus, sorry, let me see the dividend, 7 3 is 21, carry 2, 3 5 is 15, carry 2, 17, carry 1, 3 2 is 6 plus 1, 7, okay, sorry, your from here, 1 is taken away here. So here, we have 8. 8 minus 1 will be 7 here. Okay, please note the change. 
So the remainder will be zero. So our answer is 0 0.123. So this is the value of x. Okay. So we can write the other number is 0 0.123. Okay, so you can even verify whether the answer you have got is correct or not. You can verify it this way. So the equation we have is this 257 into x. So that x we have got it as 0 0.123. So when we multiply these two number, we have to get the product as 31.611. If you get this, then your value of x is absolutely correct. Okay. So, with this explanation, I think you will be able to solve exercise 3D, question number 8. Okay, so your homework is exercise 3D, question number 8, that is number 1, and chapter 2, 1 and 3, because number 2 I have already done. Question number nine. And I want you all to try question 10, 11, 12, and 13. That is the whole word problem. If you find any doubt, you can ask me in this WhatsApp number. Okay, you can post me your query in this number. Please give it a try for this question. Okay, thank you.